not calling. <laughs> so many changes seem to happen that you would think that we would normally be adjusted or ready for life and the fact that life is full of change, that every day things don't stay the same, that though you may live in a small town that seems like it never changes, it does gradually develop into something or deteriorate. Life is full of change and we're being changed from day by day, from glory to glory, from image of who we are to the image of what Jesus is by way of the Father developing in us his spirit so that we could become less of ourselves and more of him because we choose to deny ourselves take up our cross and follow him don't we that's the question are you denying yourself sometimes or are you taking care of yourself for me in devotionals and the realization that <laughs> I really can't take good care of myself. I know that God provides for me and takes care of me. I know that you know, without Him, I could do nothing. And that I know that I can trust in Him with all my heart, meaning not in my own understanding, in all my ways, acknowledging Him and letting Him direct my path. Now, the way that I know those things were long and developed process of going from day by day by day proving that I could trust him developing my relationship with him understanding that it was going to take time for him to reveal himself to me to show me that he really is alive that Jesus is real that God our Father actually exists and that a lot of what we see touch feel and experience may not be completely accurate but may just be a symbol or kind of like a type or kind of like a shadow of things that one day is going to pass away and I'm gonna see what reality is really like and for me as a sci-fi nut that was like the ultimate trip <laughs> it was like all right let's move on let's see what else is out there and if you've gotten too attached to the world and the things of the world then Maybe you ought to take a second look at what Jesus said and think about life is passing away. You're being changed and prepared for something better that is going to happen. And that each new day is a better day, not a worse day. You may lose your job, you may lose your health, you may lose your hair. I doubt if I will. <laughs> I got too much of it. But you may go through experiences that you think are bad but in reality God can turn them upside down and use them for your good but you have to let him do it and you have to talk to him about it and you have to walk with him today in God calling if we're walking with him and talking with him these things I have spoken unto you that your joy might be full from John 15:11. It's easy. It's not only walking and talking. It's also listening. <laughs> Remember that the truths I teach you all have been given to you as my disciples of old with the idea of giving you that overflowing joy. Not an idiot joy. Of course not. Okay, maybe it looks like to some people like you're an idiot, but hey, you can't please all the people all the time. Search for the joy in life. Hunt for it as for hidden treasure. Love as I have loved and laugh and enjoy and be thankful for what I have given you. Delight yourselves in the Lord. Joy in me. Full joy it was I wished my disciples to have. Though at for a season they were in sorrow, when they saw me again their joy was made full. I intended them to have it. Had they lived my teachings out in their daily lives, they would have had the fullness of joy. And you know, that's something that we can experience today. It's not joy, joy, you know, and running around and pretending like, you know, nothing bad ever happens. No, it's being aware that when things are tough, 
we can still turn around and rejoice in the Lord. Because as you rejoice in Him, He begins to give you an understanding that this is temporary. It's kind of like yesterday. Yesterday, we had been back from vacation. Oh, it was so much fun. We had rented a car because there was a special deal on rentals. And we had gone to the woods and enjoyed ourselves and we'd come back. And we got in our old beat up jalopy that I couldn't risk taking to the woods. And my wife was driving it and I was driving the rental and we were heading to drop off the car. And my old car blew up. Oh no, my car blew up. Oh no, what am I gonna do? No, that's not what I did. I worked on it, looked at it, kind of was evaluating it and said, you know, this car is taking me a long ways. The grace of God has given us, you know, a wonderful time with this car. We've driven it to Alaska and we've driven it to cross Canada and been to Alaska several times driving it. We've abused it and we've beaten it up and it's taken quite a beating and quite a, quite a challenge. And now that I've been able to turn the engine over and watch water blow out the tailpipe. <laughs> I think it's time to retire this sucker. Well, some of you may think, oh, well, you could repair it. It might be a head gasket. Where we live, we can't do that. So, praise the Lord. I have no idea what God is going to do. I have no concept and no fear for knowing that God will provide. But likewise, knowing that we can continue on in our relationship with God, irregardless of the circumstances. And so we wound up towing it back and getting it home and parking it and getting things organized so that we can go out and look for a different car and make a deal somewhere because we're like you, maybe like you. Either we live paycheck to paycheck as you're doing or maybe you don't get a paycheck <laughs> and maybe I don't, but we do seem to get by one way or another with God providing because the Lord is good and he will always provide for his people always so trust him today if you don't know any other way to get through what you're going through give him your day and let him show you the way that he would have you to walk today because you see there are going to be things that are going to blow up <laughs> in your face and you're going to burn your fingers on a radiator, maybe, or stub your toe, or have a tornado destroy your house, or a hurricane wipe out your home. But you know what? God isn't in the hurricane, and He isn't in the tornado. But after those things have passed, His still small voice will come to you and speak and tell you He loves you. And a God of love has promised to make a place for you that you're going home to one day. Remember, everything in this world is passing away and you're just passing through it. Aren't you glad? Because as you're passing through it, whatever you're going through today, he'll get you through it because you're going home. You're on your way home, either today, tomorrow, or soon. And you know what? It won't be long.